Hi there, I'm Logan Medish, and this is High Caliber History. Now, recently you may remember that I made a video about a gentleman named Martin Fry, who was an accomplished gunsmith, but produced some less than stellar pistols on a military contract in the early 1800s. If you haven't seen that video, there's a link to it in the description below. Go ahead and check that out first, otherwise this isn't going to really make any sense. Uh, so go ahead, I'll wait, you go find it in the link, and we'll be right back. Alright, you found it, you watched it, good. Okay, welcome back. So, uh, as you saw in that video, Fry was an accomplished gunsmith, and he produced some beautiful long rifles. And until now, I had only seen black and white pictures of his guns, as was displayed in that previous video, uh, and I was not aware uh, of any images of his guns in color, wasn't even aware of where any of his guns were at. Uh, well, that's when I found out that one of them has surfaced at Morphe Auction Company in Pennsylvania, and it'll be coming up for auction later in December 2019. And that gun that's coming up for auction is a gorgeous gun, and it's easy to see why his work was so regarded as a long rifle craftsman, and it was very surprising that his government contract pistols were so abysmal. I mean, let's, let's take a look at some of the pictures here that we've got courtesy of Morphe of this gun. And you can see that it's a beautiful full-length smoothbore octagonal barrel. Uh, it's got a brass front sight and a notched iron rear sight. It is signed beautifully in script, Martin Fry, on the top flat near the breech of the gun. And it's got a large, ornate, pierced and engraved four-piece patch box with scrolling vines that are engraved on the lid and shaded floral scrolls on the surrounds and finial. It is a classic York County, Pennsylvania side plate with beveled edges, a molded tail, and engraved scrolls. Now the stock on this gun is of partially figured maple and it features relief carved panels around the lock and the side plate. And there are relief foliate scrolls and C scrolls carved around the barrel tang and relief scrolls on both sides of the wrist and large floral C scrolls behind the molded cheek piece. Beneath the cheek piece is an incised and relief carved geometric design and there's also sprigs of incised carving around the ramrod entry ferrule. Overall, it's a very fine York County rifle with slender proportions and signed by a rare maker with beautiful carving. So I just wanted to take a minute and share with you this awesome example of Martin Fry's craftsmanship. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoy the channel and the content here and you think you've got even a dollar's worth of knowledge out of it, head on over to the Patreon page and become a patron there. We've got a bunch of different levels and some awesome swag that you can get as well. There's a link to it in the description. Thanks and have a great day.